Hello and welcome to another episode of Star Citizen with your host, Zara Peppers. Oh, nice shadow. Hello, Mr. Dude. What you up to? Anyways, Happy New Year. It's now 2016. And today I thought I would go explore the, the shipping hub. I haven't checked it out yet because I wanted to wait until I could do a bit of a video of it. So we were all exploring it together. Now I've got myself a new ship. That we can have a little fun with. The Stalker. I haven't really played much of it. This is the first time I've gonna extensively used it. So let's go hop in and then we'll head over to the shipping hub. Up the stairs and there she is. Now hopefully it, I'm not getting this that bug where I fall through the floor the minute I get in. I've been having that a few times. Very cool ship. I like this. More space to walk around in than in the Aurora. And we've got all these little... I think they're stasis pods for bounty hunting or something. Not sure if they're functional yet. Now let's hop up into the cockpit. Sleeping quarters in here. And... Here we go. Frame rates aren't particularly brilliant at the moment. Hopefully they'll get better. Aegis Combat Assist activated. Systems green. All right, now first things first. I think I'm going to head to the security place so we can get some better weaponry in case we encounter anybody at the shipping hub. Contact AP deactivated. Sanctuary is a lot faster than the Aurora. Okay. We will just take a quick jump to the security post. Contact. Get ourselves some better weapons. Contact. Begin scan. Quantum travel initiated. Oh, that never gets old. Oh crap, we got contacts. What are we gonna do with these guys? A retaliator. That could be a bit dangerous. Contact. Contact. Begin scan. Don't know if there's anybody in the turrets. Let's be a dick. Contact. Begin scan. <laughs> uh, screw it. Let's go to the... The shipping hub over here. Quantum travel initiated. Rear shield. Shields recharging. Looks like I came under some fire. That's interesting. And here we are. Complete. No contacts yet. Now I haven't checked this out yet, so I have. It's the mystery. Apparently there's a bunch of stuff you can find inside the shipping hub to try and figure out what happened. Just gotta find a way in first. Warning. You are trespassing on Kovalek's private property. Oh shush. Alright. Really wish the track hire was working. Let's just find a way in. Hmm. Huh. Entrance. There are th I believe this is supposed to be some kind of broken part where you can get in. Maybe we'll just uh, hop out right here. 
go out in EVA. Walking right through the door. <laughs> Yeah, I really like this thing. I think the, the Stalker will make a pretty good all-purpose ship. Sort of like my car. I plan on getting a Freelancer once the full game comes out. I love those things. They look really cool. Actually, I'm going to close the, the rear hatch. And then we'll find our way in. There we go. There's our way in. I wonder what happened here. It looks like something pretty serious. A pirate attack. Or an alien attack. I believe through creepy stuff floating everywhere. This station is currently off limits. Please vacate the area. I don't think so. Hey Darno, it's Rosine over at Corporate Ops. Give me a shout back when you clock in. Just wanted to follow up a bit on the distro issue. Talk to you in a bit. Bye. Darnell, Racine again. Still need to sync up about the power distribution problem. Where are you, man? Getting tired of waiting, Darnell. Call me. Hey, Race, it's Darnell. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Your shift started three hours ago. I know. Sorry. I did a breakdown of the current power flow for the station, and it's looking like I'll need to run a stress test on the whole system to see where the runoff is. Uh, okay. Hey, just be careful. Will do. I'll keep a close eye on it. Sounds good. You sure you're okay? You sound terrible. Yeah. It was Scott's birthday last night, so we were all up a little later than we should have been. All right. Let me know when you're finished running the test. Will do. Well, it seems like they were having some power distribution issues. Don't think we can get in that way. Obviously, we don't have life support or gravity or power. Maybe there's some place where we can turn that back on. I'm not sure. Deck one. Certainly is a bit creepy. Here's another pad. Nothing? Nope, just power down. Uh, looks like we can go out this... Some kind of elevator shaft. Is that another pad? I think it is. Oh, it's floating off into space now. Nothing down there. Looks like we can go up. Well, I guess this is the first video for 2016. I, ha I actually remembered to, because I have this sort of title card at the end, the Pig and Tree Productions thing, I almost forgot to update the year on that. Remember to do that earlier. Oh, here we go, another hey, data pad. I just got the package you sent. Thanks a million for the Moby Mod. It is incredible. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. The crew surprised me with a shindig. <laughs> right, we did. Hey, Anya! <laughs> Holy shit, is that a bottle of Esquire? Uh, right. How did you afford this? Uh, let's talk. <laughs> hey, don't out! Hey! Darnell! Get this out! This station is currently off limits. Oh, come Please, on! Please, Darnell, look, just one! Yes, there we go! Bye, Anya! Let's go! Darnell, one! One, one, one! Hey, look, I'm gonna get back to it, but let me know how your dissertation's going. Anyway, I love you, and I miss you. Thank you again for the person. Bye, babe. Well, that's sort of depressing, because everybody involved in that's probably dead now. Is this a coffee maker? Gotta love these science fiction coffee makers. <laughs> well, at least the vending machines are still working. This looks like the 
Sort of like the living quarters at Port Olisar. Do a really good job at having this <laughs> stuff flying everywhere. Very creepy atmosphere. That one just power down. Deck three. I haven't really been paying much attention as to where I came from. I'm no idea where I'm going. Another elevator shaft. Yeah, I'm really looking forward just seeing what they can do with this little persistent universe that they have so far. It really makes me look forward to what the finished product is going to be like. I have to admit that for a while there I wasn't seeing much out of Star Citizen. I was becoming a bit skeptical whether they'd be able to pull this off, but now that we've seen this awesome persistent universe 2.0, I'm a believer. Oh, shush. Plus, I also saw the video the other day of the... I don't think I was in here. Of the, uh, the procedurally generated planet being able to seamlessly go from space to the planet's surface. I've been playing Elite Dangerous Horizons, uh, and the planetary landings are pretty cool, but to be honest, there isn't really that much to do. It's, it's neat looking around them and all, but well, it looks like we can... Alright, we are back after crash number one. <laughs> I just heard somebody drop out of Quantum Drive, though. So we might have some company. Let's just head back into the bowels of the station. I suppose we'll encounter whoever this person is soon enough. Okay, we came through here, we went through the elevator. So I was thinking about what I'm gonna do when the full game comes out. And... Alright, we're back after crash game number two. Out. Of course. So I think we'll we'll head back to Contact the shipping hub. Quantum travel initiated. Now, as I was trying to say before it crashed, wait till the jump. Nice. I was thinking about what I was going to do in this game once it comes out fully. And I'm sort of I'm intrigued by the exploration aspect of it. I don't know what's all going to be involved. It'd be cool if you could... I like the idea of having a ship with a rover on it and then landing on an uninhabited planet and driving around and finding stuff. It'll be interesting what they... There will all be to do when you do that kind of thing. Because I know it'll be dangerous. Exploring's pretty cool, but it gets a bit repetitive after a while. It's just... Land ourselves here this time. Landing gear deployed. Landing complete. But I also like trading. The idea of being a merchant. It's something that I do in Elite Dangerous quite a bit. However, it can be really risky. Because you end up having like $500,000 worth of gear. I can't get out of here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we'll walk into the roof. That that works. That works. I'm not going to be picky. Now let's head back in. Because doing stuff like this, exploring like this, it's really quite neat. Oh, it looks like we have company. I'm going to hide in here and we'll wait for him to come in. See what he does. 
Well, we are now back from crash number... Oh, I've lost count at this point. So I think I, I've discovered what happened at the shipping hub. I theorized that it is a rift in space-time itself that causes anybody to go in it to inexplicably be taken out of reality. I suppose you could say reality is crashing, if you will. So I think we'll we'll just steer clear of that from now on since we've uncovered the mystery and solved it. I want to try and find some people I can meet up with and maybe crew up a bigger ship. Alright, now that we're back on the proper keyboard settings, we can dance. Yeah, I find some of the the airlocks haven't been working lately. So let's try this one. Nope. That's a bad touch. Bad touch guy. You're making me feel uncomfortable. Oh, 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 oh. I did it. I did it. Yeah. We're through. Now we just need to get through the other door. Well, I see no other way out of this situation. Goodbye, cruel world.